What's up from 50 States My Way? It's Ashley and Ryan, and we are at the Deadwood Lodge. It's time for packet pickup for state number 16. Here we go. For a small town marathon, we actually have a really nice little expo. First step is to find your bib number. Then we pick up our bib. Then we pick up our shirt. Yep. All right, Ryan found his packet. So to confirm, the 5K we pick up at the actual race tomorrow. Okay. There you go. Just verify your chip over here at the center table and grab your shirt on the end. Perfect. Thank you. Hi. This is different. We verify our chip. Just run that. You can leave it in the envelope if you want so you don't lose it. Just run it over the scanner and you're going to check everything on the top line, make sure it's correct. Yep, there it is. That is correct. Okay. Perfect. Sure, sir, your next stop. That's a fun. I've never seen that before at a race expo. That's cool. Hi. Really nice shirt. It is a soft cotton. Really nice. Ryan's going to, of course, try it on while I go to the bins of race shirts of seasons past. All right, so all of the bargain shirts are $5. It looks like they have two different kinds for women. They also have Deadwood patches and stickers, a really nice buff, reversible beanie, that's really cool. Ooh, this is a nice shirt here. This is the Deadwood Mickelson. I'm doing Deadwood. And it looks like this shirt is I can't tell what shirt this is actually. 25. It's a long sleeve tech. They have hats and headbands which are really nice. The headbands, I don't know. I don't know how much the headbands are, but those are really nice. And they also have some really nice hoodies and the hoodies are 30. So yeah, here's one of the men's shirts from seasons past and they are also $5. I wish they had that in, in uh, women's. We just learned about a race that I didn't even know about in Nebraska. We still need Nebraska on the list, and coincidentally, on the way here, we actually went to the location. It's at the Scotts Bluff National Monument and the Oregon Trail. There is an entire marathon, half marathon relay, and 5K where you can knock off Nebraska and see a really cool monument from the Oregon Trail. Ryan outran dysentery. You would have to wear your shirt if we did this one. And check out the medals. It's Nebraska. Love it. You run around the monument on roads that are normally closed to the public. Get to check out, those are like the Nebraska Badlands. And this is in September. What a cool race making strides for student scholarships. So it helps support. Yeah, our um, foundation at the Western Nebraska Community College. Okay. Is, and so it's a fundraiser to support student success. success. Okay, so it's also a fundraiser, which yeah. is yeah. makes it even even yeah, more cool. All yeah. right, and these are the yep, shirts. 22, 21, uh, That's like awesome. 20, 20, 20. Love it. Love it. We need we need to get one that's like an Oregon Trail theme. There you go. Yes, we do. Yeah, I love it. All right, so the Monument Marathon. MonumentMarathon.com. Dot com. Perfect. Definitely worth checking out. And um, it looks like it's not overly expensive either. So early registration seventy five for the marathon, and for the five k is twenty five. Pretty cool. Run fifty states my way. This might be a contender. It's marathon day in Deadwood. Ryan's excited. He's still half asleep. <laughs> we are at the Day of 76 Rodeo Grounds where there is parking and this is where the buses take the runners for the half marathon and the full marathon to their start. You're bussed out, you run back, just like yesterday's 5K. So, here are the marathon buses. Here's a runner. Hi. <laughs> 
<laughs> we're gonna get him on a bus and send him on his way and then we're gonna go exploring. See if we can find him at a trailhead. But more importantly, we're just gonna enjoy the day. Stay tuned for more. So over here is the big Deadwood Rodeo Grounds. Apparently we learned yesterday that the rodeo is pretty big here in Deadwood. So we've got Gold, Wild Bill, and Rodeo. Deadwood. Nice little line for the porta potties here. There's about four of them. Ample parking. I can definitely tell why they use this location. But if you're staying in town, they also trolley you over to this spot. And then that building over there where all the half marathon buses are, so clearly more people are doing the half than the full today, is the Day of 76 Museum. We are not going to go to that museum, but from what I understand, they have a lot of um, like carriages and stagecoaches, and it's really about like the pioneers. Um, today, after the marathon, we're probably going to hit up the Brothel Museum, the Adams Museum, and I might be able to talk Ryan into going to the Broken Boot. Um, which is a gold mine here. Um, we'll see how he feels, see what we do. Um, there's going to be an after party. It's going to be a full day of Deadwood fun for sure. The race starts at 8 along the Mickelson Trail and then finishes in downtown Deadwood at the same spot as the 5k. So let's keep walking around. See what we can see. They're already taking the half marathon buses out. Welcome to the starts of the Dead One Marathon. They dropped us off at the church at to the bring us at the buses. And right down the hill, right next to the uh piece. All right, it's the start. He'll start us on this road over here and take us all the way up there to the trailhead going from there. Why did you choose the Deadwood Marathon? It's beautiful out here. Scenery, 100%. 100%? The, the second half's downhill, so you know, I hope we can get it. Oh, yes, we can. So, first time marathoners? Yep, yep. first time. All right. Well, I wish you guys good luck. Thank you. Thanks. Good luck. We'll see you at the finish line. Thank I'll you. take that. All right. Right, right on. All right. Start of the marathon. Woo! I'm excited. Let's go here and have some fun. the trail. All right, In about 100 feet. We're gonna have a turnaround. Try to make sure we're definitely getting our 26.2 in. So let's go. Let's go. Good, guys. Way to go. Good 
job. All right, we are now started the trail. All right, Ty's about three and a half miles in. This uh, horse is a little tough, especially if you're not used to altitude. So just beware. But it is absolutely beautiful. I'll check back to you guys later. All right, at 4.6, we're coming up on an old railroad tunnel here on the course. I'm not sure if this is the first one or not, but it's really cool to be running through this thing. Quarter done. Um, Nice, beautiful Sunday day for a race. Can't complain. Had to go down with an aid station back there. So, more on the course. It's sorry, honey, but this thing is this race is very gorgeous. Ran into Rob. Hey, hey. First time uh, marathoner. What do you think of the course so far? It's pretty. It's a little sunnier than I'd like. If that cloud could just move right there. It'd be perfect. Awesome. The why a marathon? I've uh, been running now for like 10 years. Right. My wife's been big into marathons and ultras and trail running and figured I'd try and train up for one this summer. Well, it's a good one to start with. Uh, yep, halfway up. Let's do it. All right, 50 staters. We're gonna make it. All right, team, I'm at mile 11. This is a very tough course. If you're not used to hills and altitude, it will give you a nice surprise. But I cannot complain. There's been a, a support throughout the course through every two miles, two and a half. But make sure you bring your own water and fuel. Trust me, it'll help. I'll talk to you more later. Bye. All right, we are at the Dumont trailhead. Again, you can see that this was an old rail line, the Rail to Trail Hall of Fame. Whole bunch of family members gathering here. This should, from the map, be right around the halfway point. Uh, we just saw the lead male runner go through, cruising for the marathon. I believe this is also where the half marathon started, based on what I know from the map. There is a nice parking area across the street. And right here kind of explains that Englewood Trailhead is about six miles up, and the Roachford Trailhead is 10 miles that way, which is uh, or Rockford, um, depending on how you say it. Um, so this might be the half, but it also might be more like mile 11, 12. All right, we're on the trail and we have another runner coming into mile 12. We did establish that this is right around mile 12, mile 13, and it's Rochford. <laughs> I was, uh, a local heard me, it's Rochford is where we're located. Lead marathoner's coming through. All right, lead marathoner, lead marathoner. <laughs> Cruising. Woo, Josh, go. All right, run 50 states my way. We got another couple runners coming through on the marathon. Woo! Go, go, go! 
It is about 9.18, so we're about an hour and 20 minutes in. Runners are looking good coming into halfway. Whoever Beth is, she's got a good crew. Run, Beth, run. Go, Beth. 50 states my way. I think we found Beth. This is Beth's crew, and this might be Beth. We found Beth. Go, Beth, go. There she goes. Run 50 states my way, we finally found him. <laughs> He's walking. He's coming. He's smiling. All right, 50 staters. Hey, everyone. I am halfway. Here is the start area for the half marathon. So, a little exhausted, but I'm going up a mountain. Mile 14 is when this thing starts going downhill. Hi everyone, I am past mile 14. It is now downhill for this race. Whew, that first half, brutal. My advice, take your time. Make sure you have plenty of water. There's lots of open area there. So if it's sunny like today is, it's going to be brutal. All right, I am at mile 17. Oh, wonderful shade. At mile 17. 50 staters, enjoy this beautiful view. All right, run 50 states my way. We are at the Englewood Trailhead relay exchange and water stop. You can definitely tell that this is a hub. All of the families cheering. We've got a nice tailwind coming down. Uh, Ryan was really struggling at mile 12, 13. Um, but from what I understand, the course corrects itself and it's mostly downhill now. Um, he said it's brutal but he's smiling, he's having fun. This is also mile marker 18. So if we saw him at 12, we'll see him at 18, and then we'll probably meet him at the finish. So let's check out this relay exchange location. All right, nice water stop. Looks like pretzels, bananas, and M&Ms. This is a total trail race for sure when you got M&Ms. And then the most important stop over there, Gatorade. Or Powerade, I think. Powerade, awesome. There's also some porta potties, and because this is one of the trailheads, there's a permanent um, bathroom at the trail as well. So this is the Englewood stop on the George Mickelson trailhead. This is super cool here. Check it. It's an old-fashioned pump. An old-fashioned pump. How cool is that? I think we're gonna get a rag wet for Ryan. So if you've never done a trail race, um, that's what this is. And I'm so glad that Ryan is a trail runner and has trained on trails because it kind of prepares you to understand, um, you know, how to how to plan for each stop. And knowing this, I'm really glad that I've come out onto the trailheads. Um, to meet him. I'm gonna see if he wants a new shirt because he was soaked before and I just wet a um, Washcloth that I brought from our Airbnb at the old-fashioned pump, which was really cool um, So that'll help cool him off a little bit um, Like I mentioned before there is a nice wind um, But for those of you who have never run trail if you are coming out to Deadwood be prepared that this is a true trail race so there is very limited um things basically in between each water stop and it's hilly and yeah you're just kind of out in nature all right we're gonna catch a relay exchange there it goes bam Woo! great job comes a runner hi everyone 
mile 20. Hi everybody, almost at mile 22, it got really hot really fast, but I can't complain about the course. I'm just taking my time, not trying to pass out, playing it smart, but definitely Deadwood, love it. Alright, I'm at mile 23. Doing well. I'm in a gulch right now. Wow. Almost at mile 24. Very close to completing that boot marathon. Look at this beautiful river. Go finish this thing. All right, it looks like at the finish line, there's chocolate milk. Ooh, that's a first. Beef jerky packets, that's kind of fun. Some watermelon, banana, clementines. Granola bars, of course, definitely needed that Gatorade. Some water. People are watching their runners finish. Finish line is right up here. Something Ryan's their 61st really excited about what a great way to are the massages right here in Deadwood. he's really going to need this today maybe just maybe i'll uh, talk them into massaging me as well this is cool right here it's a finisher post sorry Let's see over here. Well, that's cool. We got towels and are those for the um, age group? I love it. Age group awards, get a deck of cards. Another family came all the way from Ohio, Cincinnati, finishing at 69, Thomas. Woo! Relay, family finish. Getting it in. When it's said and done, he's going to say this was the hardest marathon he's ever done. Come on. You got this. Great job today, great job. Aloha. Yeah, <laughs> the mail, the mail, the mail. Go, babe. Stacy coming in from Come on. Come on. You're almost there. You got it! Round 50 states my way. We have made it to Outlaw Square in downtown Deadwood for the finishers party for the marathon. Ryan is super excited because there's a snowy. He has his snow cone. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's replenished. Let's go check out the party. <laughs> now this is what I call a marathon after party. <laughs> and Ryan has a snow cone. <laughs> 
We made it to every single one of the doll chainsaw art locations. And of course, you know we had to come to the one in Deadwood for our official race photo. So with that, the dead man's hand behind us with Wild Bill, we have our medals. It was a great race weekend. We loved it. It was brutal. Brutal? Brutal. Hardest marathon you've ever done? To date, yes. <laughs> Definitely. But it was a blast running here in Deadwood in the Black Hills. We had an amazing time and we can't wait uh, for our next adventure and our next runcation. State number 16, complete. Like, subscribe, and comment down below. Deadwood, South Dakota, that's a wrap.